We are so happy to have Islanders owner John Ledecky and Tim Liewicki, CEO of the Oakview Group, which is overseeing the project. They're with us now. And John, we'll start with you. What does it mean to you and your team to finally have a long-term home on Long Island that promises to be one of the best venues in sports? It's a terrific uh, day for Islander fans to have a new arena, to have it as UBS Arena is wonderful to have that sponsorship. But for our fans, they've deserved a new home for quite some time. And they're finally getting it. And they're getting a home where we're taking the best of the Nassau Coliseum, the intimacy of the bowl, the noise factor, the low ceiling. And we're moving that over to the UBS Arena at Belmont Park. We're leaving behind, Jamie, the 30-minute waits to use a bathroom and the 20-minute waits for a cold hot dog. <laughs> so our fans deserve to have the best of everything in the National Hockey League. And with the first third-generation arena in the New York market, they're going to get it. That is great news for Islanders fans and hockey fans everywhere, really, who are going to go and experience hockey there. Now, Tim, I know construction had already started before the pandemic paused everything. So where are things at right now? And how has your timeline been affected? So the timeline was affected because we lost a couple of months. But then again, it looks like the season might roll back a little bit next year, too. So I think we're in pretty good shape to begin the 21-22 season at uh, UBS Arena. The, uh, the crew has been fantastic. They've been working, pressing it hard to catch up and get us to the right place. And in fact, we put in the first steel in the roof today. So we are in good shape to make sure we're going to make fall of next year and we'll be ready to play hockey. That's exciting. Now, you know, everyone in America, and this question is for both of you, really, because we've all felt the effects of the pandemic, and especially when it comes to the economy, right? So, John, what kind of potential does this arena have to benefit the New York area? Yeah, it's fantastic. So it's 10,000 construction jobs. It's 3,000 permanent jobs, of which 30% uh, will be in the surrounding communities. And it's also an opportunity to pump in $25 billion of revenue to our economy over the term of the lease. It's a fantastic opportunity, one that UBS embraced, because like ourselves, they understand how important the New York community is. One third of their employee base of this big Swiss global bank is headquartered in New York. And so they share our vision on things from Hockey with a Heart, which is a program for volunteer organizations to come to the arena and spread the word about their opportunity to, to volunteer, to um, the Islanders Children's Foundation, which supplies so, so many needed programs throughout Long Island and the rest of the country. Well, John, there's the, this is exciting news, seeing this stuff come together out there on Long Island. But there's some exciting stuff going on with this team right now. And they shocked kind of the hockey world last year in their sweep of the Pittsburgh Penguins in the first round. Now they're getting ready to get going. How excited are you to see them back on the ice? Super excited. The guys are in Toronto. They're in the bubble, which is great. I think Commissioner Bettman and his team did such an incredible job of getting us ready to resume the season. Um, the protocols, the safety, the sanitization, the security. Um, hats off to the league for doing a great job. But we're, we're really excited about the resumption of play. We're playing the Rangers Wednesday night, uh, and then we're going to play the Panthers in the play-in round. Um, I think the guys are thinking back to when they had a 17-game point streak, and that's what you need in the Stanley Cup. Once you make the Cup, if you can win 16 games over the course of the four rounds, you get to hoist the Cup. So the guys are excited. They're focused. They're ready to go. And how about you, Tim? Uh, what do you like about this Islanders team, and how excited are you for everything to take place? I had to be careful, so I'm also building the arena in Seattle with a Kraken. So <laughs> my I'm neutral, but Lou and I have been friends forever. Um, I helped John and, and uh, Scott Malkin convince Lou to come to the island. So obviously I have no issues this year. And I'm 100% for the Islanders. And obviously their success bodes well for the success of the arena. So yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> <laughs> Great answer. And by the way, bravo on everything with the Seattle crack and roll out. I'm sure you had a lot to do in the planning of that. And yeah, I can't wait to learn more. Here. You got the S yet? The logo, the shirts, the oh, hats, yeah. anything? Yeah. Send everything you can we'll my way, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> They're so great. We can't wait to talk to you more as that uh, ramps up as well. But to both of you, thanks so much for the time. We look forward to watching the Islanders take the ice here this weekend. Welcome back, hockey. Woo. Go Islanders. <laughs>